Welcome to fucking tech. Uh, this time we're gonna modify our uh, our um, uh, Silent Phoenix. This is the Silent Phoenix uh, keyboard mod. I have another video about the uh, Silent Phoenix uh, modification project that you can check on the uh, fucking tech channel. So if you want to see what I did with that, uh, you can look at that video. Basically, what it is is the uh, T uh, H H C. Uh, HC man, Team Wolf Zuke Plus X08 keyboard that I installed. Uh, some some uh, I changed the switches to uh, put the Sign and Sky switches and the Razer keycap replacement uh, set. So uh, what I'm gonna do now it's very simple, uh, nothing crazy, uh, because I put some um, some rose wheel O-rings in there and these little O-rings. Uh, they reduce the key travel. So when I press on the keys, uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't go as far as it should a little bit. So it, it, because these keycaps are very hard, even though the si the auto move silent skies are very uh, gentle, um, with with the O-rings, the O-ring makes it uh, very hard. So it's. Um, uh, it's not, it's not because of the the key travel. It's not as much. It, it's, it's like a, my fingertips are like smashing uh, rocks. <laughs> so, um, so it's nothing crazy. So I'm just gonna remove. Gonna remove the key caps. Oops. I'm taking another one. Dropped it. Here we go. I'll take another key cap. Now all these keycaps. I'll remove the O-rings. And that's it. And we're gonna put them back in their nice little rose wheel O-ring box. So they're gonna go back in there. And uh, I'm gonna use the uh, Automu Silent Sky switches uh, as intended and see what happens there. So that's it. All right, uh, I removed all the O-rings on my silent Phoenix keyboard. And uh, quite honestly, it's uh, much better. <laughs> it's, uh, my fingers don't feel like I'm smashing down on a brick wall. So uh, the lesson learned is if you use Automu Silent Sky switches on your keyboard, well, skip the O-rings. At least the rose wheels uh, makes it the the their SA50, uh, SS50 or A50, whatever the the nomenclature is. 
the hardness, the hardness, so uh, it reduces the uh, key travel and it, it's like killing a little brick wall a little bit, but uh, this uh, using the full uh, key travel of the Aorimu Silent Sky makes a little bit more sense. Uh, it's good. So I like this. Um, it feels a little bit looser, but it's uh, in the long run, it doesn't, uh, the, the fingertips are much more comfortable. So that's the lesson learned. Don't no no rose will owing earrings on the outer moose silent sky. I still have some on the uh, retro party O-rings with my outer moose silent skies on that one. So uh, not sure what I'm gonna do, but I didn't have any issues really. So uh, maybe it's the softness, the hardness of the uh, Captain O-rings on the retro party. They're a little bit uh, different. They're not as hard. So uh, I don't know. So that's that. That's uh, Silent Phoenix uh, <laughs> uh, version 2 with uh, no O-rings under the keycaps and it's uh, much better to use the natural Arumu skies. I still have the O-rings on, um, on the blue switches I have on this with the... Um, with, with my uh, modifiers. So I have a num, num key here. So this one is a blue clicky switch. So I still have the O-ring under my modifier keys that are all blue switches. So um, the num, num key is a, is a blue switch uh, scroll lock insert, uh, shift control, alt function, and the windows button. So there we go. So uh, that's that. So skip the O-rings if you use Auto Moose Sky. All right. Fuckingtech.com